All right, so it's time to dig into the auto mix function. It's actually very simple. Most of what's going on is under the hood. A uh, few basic principles uh, at play here, but overall, auto mixing is going to allow anything assigned to one group to work off each other with a priority level, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's look at this. You don't have to use both groups. I can't imagine too many times when you'd want to use two groups. Uh, I'm thinking maybe if there were six panelists at a meeting and you had a couple audience microphones out and you wanted to have the panel microphones on one group so they interact and control each other and you had two or three microphones out in the audience and they were a separate group and interacted with each other, possibly that would be a, a good example. For the most part, if you're just doing panel discussions, you're going to use one group. And uh, that's what the second dot is for on every channel, is assigning it to either the X or Y group. You turn that on, and now I'm actually activated on my four vocal channels. And it's simple enough to come down here and turn those on. You activate whichever one is highlighted. So if I want to make uh, something Y, I turn on Y, and then I can assign it to Y. And if I want to go to X, I can make it X and make that X. In my case, I only want to have X group or the first group. So all four of my vocal channels are going to be assigned to the first auto mix group X. All right, so the way this works is uh, probably not intuitive. It's not going to be turning microphones off when they're not being used and then turning some on when they are being used. It actually keeps all microphones on unless one has priority. Now, if you want to see what your priority is, I'm talking into mic number four. And we know that because one, we can see my level meter quite high here, but we can also see that the other three channels are almost completely muted by this control channel here. What you're seeing here is another microphone picking up my ambient sound. And by the way, I do not have microphones plugged into two and three, but I am showing you that they are working just like vocal one. Now, when you engage the auto mix function, you have a priority or a threshold here. And uh, we can go into the uh, channel strip on the main tab and see a closer view of both the, the gain reduction meter and our threshold or weighting. So if we have everything set the same here at zero dB, they're all going to be balanced equally with no priority of, with one microphone or another. You may have something where somebody talks a little bit softer, so it might need a little bit more priority over someone else. You may have someone that talks a lot louder that might need to have less priority. Priority is also called waiting here. Uh, so if you've got good matched volumes from the basic sound check, you can probably run all of your waiting or priorities at the same. The maximum attenuation is down downward to zero, so, so don't expect it to go any lower than that. It's not going down to the threshold. It's just the meter goes from plus 10 to zero as a, as a full spectrum on that meter. I'm going to crank up this microphone here preamp so you can hear just white noise. And now when I'm talking, you're obviously hearing that go way down. And when I'm not talking, you're going to hear that ambience come back up. The thing you need to understand is the principle of adding microphones uh, in a mix system is on a plus 3 dB scale. So if you have one microphone going out at zero dB uh, on your master meter over here, and you added another microphone with the same amount of energy, it would be now going out summed at plus three. Another microphone would add another three, and the fourth microphone would be at uh, plus nine. So we should be hitting plus nine decibels if we had four microphones open. But what the mixing system does is it, it counteracts that by keeping everything at zero. So that's part of what's going on under the hood. And I, I did a basic test here. My microphones are matched pretty well. And if I've got the Dugan system keeping me at the current volume right now, which is about minus 15, is a pretty good peak for me, minus 15, I should get a 3 dB boost if I talk into both microphones simultaneously. So here's both microphones simultaneous. You might hear a little difference. But let's see what it sounds like with the auto mix system off and on. So here's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's a pretty good indicator that it's doing what it's supposed to do theoretically, which is making sure that we don't get plus three, plus three, plus three for each of these microphones. 
it's keeping a constant level at zero or plus zero each time. So here's two microphones, which should be 3 dB louder. And then here's this unit now uh, keeping those the same. So that's, that's it in, in theory is that um, whether you've got one microphone open or eight microphones open, it won't give you 24 decibels of, of additional ambient noise. And that's really what the whole algorithm is trying to do. And that alone fixes everything. Plus, you get your course um, attenuation based on the priority of what's the loudest. So microphone voice four is making the other three go down. And now over here, microphone number one is making the other three go down. So let's take a look at the priority setting. I'm now talking into the first microphone and I want to change the priority of, of, of voice four here. So if voice four has more of a priority, which is up on this threshold here, it's going to be attenuated less. And we'll see that right now coming up here. You'll notice that my reduction or gain reduction is a lot less. If it's not as important, it's going to get more gain reduction. And I can pull it all the way down here and you'll see that uh, it's coming all the way down to the maximum gain reduction there. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, test one, two. Now, the differences that you're hearing, of course, is I'm talking six inches from that microphone. So you are hearing my ambience leak through a little bit here. So here you're hearing no ambient leak. That thing is gated all the way off. And if I turn it up here, you're actually hearing both microphones uh, bleed uh, into the left, right. So it's working as it should. There's no timing parameters. So we don't have any control over the um, gain reduction attack and release like we would normally have in a uh, compressor or a gate. I guess the system is smart enough to go ahead and get that right and we don't have to have those extra parameters. And uh, you can use the noise gate with the auto mix function. Works great. So if you have to have a little bit of gating on the ambient noise so when it's not being triggered down, it's catching that and working just fine. Without the noise gate for that ambient microphone, it, it's going to be a lot of ambience to your mix until I talk to it, until I talk, and it gets pushed down. But even then, we probably want to lower the priority here so it gets a lot more attenuation. So there's the ambient noise being pushed down when I talk, no problem. But when I'm not talking, you're going to hear that ambient noise come back up. So let's use the gate to fix that. All right, so that's working pretty well now. A little bit of a crossfade there between this letting up and this attacking. So we could probably change our attack to be a little quicker. All right, so we got that going on now. Check one, two. So we can also make that hold a little quicker so it doesn't hold as long. That's getting pretty seamless right there. All right, so that's a pretty quick overview of how this works. Like I said, uh, a lot of things going on under the hood. The uh, auto mix function, not giving you the plus 3 dB gain for every microphone is the main thing. So that's a quick overview. I'll be using this in a couple corporate meetings and boardroom meetings, convention center events, and I'll probably have a few more things to say about it once I've used it uh, out in the real world and see how it works with you know three to six or eight microphones. So that's it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, make sure you check out our Facebook user group, Behringer X Air.